Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So cute. in the life <laughs> I got up this morning and I can't really talk about it yet um, but let's just say there's a lot of things going on in our life right now that we're trying to straighten out you guys have heard me give the hint that we are possibly moving soon which is on the table um, but we are trying to figure out how to make it happen. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that it's a lot more difficult to move and okay, so like, for example, like I am self-employed and um, Mike works for a company, but having like, and we also have like a side business that we own together, not a side business, it's a full-time business, but um, anyway, it's harder to buy a house when you have self-employment income basically with like a mortgage lender figuring out figuring out what we need to do um to make it happen because so if you guys are wondering we need to move um if we ever want to have another baby not not necessarily but like we're just we've really outgrown this house and i already have kai and riker sharing a room upstairs and i'm not ready to move kaya to the basement two floors away from us yet because she's still like she still runs away and things like that so i don't know it just makes me nervous having her that far away where i can't like supervise her she does need super supervision like all the time but anyway so anyway are you covered in buttered toast? What happened to you? What happened to you? He's literally covered in like crumbs and butter from the kids. What do you think, Charlie? Are you covered in the toast? He's like, please put me down, human. All right, anyways, I hope you guys had a happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving. I feel like I've been so disconnected and it's felt so good. It's felt so good, but I disconnected from like Instagram. I pre-uploaded all of my, <laughs> oh, that's good. Pre-uploaded like all of my videos last week and I just unplugged and I took like a true like four day weekend off and it felt so good. I haven't taken time off like that in so long feeling just very disconnected from like all of my youtube and like instagram things now so i need to get back on track um over the weekend Riker ended up running like 103.5 temp and that lasted for like i want to say it was like saturday and sunday and then it was gone we cannot have puppy chow in the morning so like I said, he had like a fever this weekend. He's already had COVID, so I don't know what it was, but it was like really short lived. I don't know if it was like an ear infection or like a sinus infection that he just like, his body like quickly got over and fell. I don't know, anyway, it was really weird. But he had, yeah, that was scary. When my kids run temps that are over like 102.5, then I get a little panicky. Like once it hits 103 especially, then I'm like, oh, okay, like something's really going on. Why are we so whiny, whiny sir? What's going on? Let's find. Oh, let's have some of these. This is so good. Ah. 
She's like, what is this crap? Here, oh, it's so good. Oh, there you go, you're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> now that the, like his fever this morning is completely gone. So yesterday he was still at like, like 102 um, and then that was even with like a Tylenol and ibuprofen um, being rotated throughout the day and now today he's had nothing. He hasn't had anything since last night and he's back at a normal temp. So I don't really know what that was. That was weird. But anyway, before we get any further into today's video, I want to give a huge happy birthday shout out to Kiera. She has been following me for quite some time. Um, and yes, Kiera, your husband set this whole thing up. So go and give him some extra loving kisses. I'm sending you virtual love and hugs through the camera right now. Have a very, very happy birthday. I'm sure it looks so different for you this year, but get some snuggles with your baby and your husband. Order some of your favorite takeout, treat yourself today. And again, happy birthday, treat yourself. You deserve the world, us mamas deserve so much. And again, make sure that you go and hug Travis because he set this whole thing up. And I was very, very happy to join in and wish you a happy birthday. So, happy birthday. So a lot of you guys want to know um, about my keto, which I don't blame you because it's going so well. Um, I obviously, I took like a cheat break, right? So like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I only like put back on like three of the pounds that I had lost out of the eight. So I'm still down five pounds. Um, and honestly, that's just like water weight from pie. And <laughs> what else did I have? I had so much stuff. Um, lots of venison sticks which aren't like those aren't bad actually those are like lo lower in carbs um what else do we have all of the turkey and the stuffing and mashed potatoes oh my goodness gravy i even had like adult beverages so, like gin and tonic vodka sodas um i like the make ultra lights i even had some like regular um make golden lights like those are my favorite the flavor is so good and anyway so i like i had all of the cheats is like what i'm trying to say snacks or like tortilla chips and potato chips i ate like a whole freaking tray of like cocktail shrimp to myself all the things <laughs> and i only gained back three pounds so okay goodbye i love you yeah bye um cupcakes um Okay, so anyway, with the keto, it's been going really well. I like to um, combine it with intermittent fasting. Um, this morning I was super hungry. I This happens to me a lot when I'm coming like out of a cheat like day or out of a cheat like weekend <laughs> or cheat holiday. Um, I'm very hungry for breakfast. I've noticed like if I'm not regularly intermittent fasting, I get so hungry at breakfast time. So um, this morning I didn't have any eggs. So that helped with the intermittent fasting because I really couldn't eat any anything anyways for breakfast. So coffee it is. Now some people say that coffee will break your fast, but I just consider my intermittent fasting to start like as soon as I have my first solid meal and it works out really well for me. Um, and then I limit myself to 1500 calories a day um, and I try to limit myself to about 20 to 30 carbs a day um, and it works super awesome. Also, if you're trying to stay keto, this is not the most bestest. I'll tell you that if you are going to use this, if you want just a little bit of peppermint mocha like in your coffee during the holiday season, um, I will actually use this half and half the best. Ooh, I found one of the best places to get half and half is over at Costco because it's like $6 for this huge gigantic like thing. Um, and then, or it's like five, maybe it's four ninety nine. Five nine. Anyways, it's a good deal. Um, so anyways, I use that in my frother, so I will add it to almost the max in here. And then I just add a tablespoon of peppermint mocha um, because I believe there's like five, five grams of sugar in um, a tablespoon, one tablespoon. And most people put like six tablespoons in their coffee, like a quarter cup is like average, if not more. So think of how much sugar you are consuming, but if you just do a dash, you still get the same amount of like flavor. Um, anyways, and I just had this leftover in the fridge, um, so I'm trying to use it up. I'm only using a tablespoon at a time, but you can also, if you go to Home Goods, you can also find um, sugar-free peppermint and sugar-free mocha in the skinny syrups. So I get these. My battery died, but anyways, you can get these for like $3.99 at um, 
Marshalls Home Goods or TJ Maxx, super awesome. So my Marshalls and my Home Goods are like combined into the same store. So if I like use them interchangeably, okay? Because again, they are the same store. <laughs> so another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that one of my like Black Friday finds um, was this sweatshirt. And I shared it over on Instagram and I don't know if Kaya deleted it or what. Um, I am gonna repost it and um, also have this link down below for you guys. They have it in so many different colors. If you're wondering, okay, so this is the, um, whatever, the, this is the like army green in black. This is the tie dye one and there's like, a little slit on the side so i got an xl in this one just because i am like i have super like long i have a long torso and i should have even done like a large um but i like how oversized this one is um so this one's super oversized it's really cute um i ordered it like i said in three different colors on top of this so i'll have four total it's just like the perfect shape like crew neck sweatshirt i absolutely love it um i did order them in larges for the rest so they weren't quite as big um but i love this sweatshirt so go and check out the link below it's from american eagle um and they are on sale this week for 24.99 which is half off it was originally 50 bucks um so i got like i said i got four of them um just to stock up on sweatshirts for the winter usually like right now is when i like to stock up on some of my clothes try to have more of like a minimalistic closet so um anyways i like to just have sweatshirts like three to four sweatshirts i like to have three to four cardigans and like three to four shirts that i can rotate underneath um and then i have like three or four of my peppy frabby shirts that i can wear like to bed or just for like lounging around or i can even cute see those peppy frabby shirts up but anyway just wanted to share the black friday deal with you guys i love american eagle for like all of like the oversized like trends because they have such cute items um anyway also if you guys are american eagle jean lovers they do have jeans on sale for 30 percent off right now too i want to get the jeans but i'm trying to hold out until i hit like my 50 pound weight loss just because i know it's going to feel better to order those jeans and to maybe like go in and try some of those jeans on it's going to feel better if i've already lost my weight so that is my plan that's what i'm doing for my jeans i'm just going to wait until i hit the 50 pound mark so um anyway i it is now like 1 30 i've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off and like mondays you guys know that i usually on mondays i will sit down i'll take care of bills and all the boring things i go through um like our schedule for the week and i try to like brainstorm um new content ideas and like research how i'm going to do those for you guys so i will have a diy going live on wednesday this week i meant for it to go live last week just with like all of the craziness for like thanksgiving and like pre-uploading and trying to take a break something had to give and that was my diy so i am just going to upload that on wednesday this week for you guys and then next week i'm going to be sharing our part one to our diy ship lap which a lot of you have been asking for i know a lot of you are starting to do like diys and renovations in your in your own homes so i don't know why that was so hard to say but um, i know a lot of you are doing those renovations right now because we're getting into the stay at home season um and obviously with all the covid craziness there's a lot of like basically stay at home orders right now so home renovations are super fun when you have nothing else to do so i want to share all of those things with you guys with that being said i'm going to wrap up this video for you guys i just want to get, give you a little like motivation just a little bit of a life update um like i said we've got a lot of questions lately on like are we moving? Cause I like dropped that hint in another vlog. And yes, the plan is for us to move. Um, we just need a bigger house. That is what is going on. And that is what I've been brainstorming and preparing for um, buying a new house is a lot of work um and you want to make sure like coming from my accounting background you want to make sure that your down payment is in tip top tip top shape you want to make sure your credit scores are in tip top shape um just all of the things you want to make sure that you are fully prepared so 
that is all I can share at this time, but stay tuned because we have quite a journey and I will be vlogging a lot more. I've just been, I don't know, I guess I've been like gravitating more towards like just vlogging and picking up the camera and like sharing life updates and like sharing what my days look like. I'm really loving these Mom Motivation Mondays where I do these day in the life videos. Wednesday here on my channel, stay tuned because I am going to be getting doing a tidy up video with a cook with me and then on Sunday this week I will be doing a get it all done. Um, I'm going to be reorganizing my refrigerator and I'll be organizing out the kids' bathroom. Room. Um, I've got a lot of things that I just need to take care of here around the house. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. I love to take like ideas from you guys and produce new content based off of those ideas. So I love to do like new content based off of those ideas. Um, and I will be, um, now that I am in like full weight loss mode, I will be incorporating a lot more weight loss. Um, stuff for you guys tis the season as soon as we're done with Christmas. That's when me especially um, It gets into um, weight loss mode and home renovation mode or DIY mode So stay tuned for all of that content coming up for you guys But again leave it in the comments down below with what your favorite videos here on my channel are um, And I will do my be very best to accommodate you I love to share all of the tips and tricks with you guys check out all the links down below I've got some good finds for you guys. Also, if you missed my my kids gift guide I will leave it up here linked for you guys um, because I found lots of really good Black Friday deals on those and Cyber Monday deals so when you guys are seeing this they should still be on sale um, you can utilize your target red card you can use that um, I believe all red card holders got like a five dollars off a twenty dollar purchase coupon in the mail um, and I have all the gift guides um, over on my like to know it app as well so make sure that you're following me over there all the things. All right, guys, I will see you on Wednesday for a tidy up and cook with me and cheers to the weight loss and all the keto and all of the things. We, I am just, oh, I'm feeling so good. So good. P.S. One of my most favorite things to do, like not favorite, like cringy maybe. Um, I like to go back and like watch some of my older videos. If you guys are newer, newer here on my channel, I've got like lots of bingeable content from like when I first started my channel and I was pregnant and you can really watch like the evolution of me and my channel. And I, I will always leave those videos up no matter how cringy they are because it really shows me like where I started and where I came from. Um, but anyways, you can really see like the weight loss transformation over the past couple of years. Um, just by watching my videos you can watch like my my skin tone um, you can watch my weight go ever since I went anti-inflammatory gluten-free um, and now that I eat like fairly low carb you can really see that transformation happen over the last couple years so anyway I'm just I'm really proud of where I am right now and I just love I love sharing all these things with you guys here on the internet. So anyway, okay guys, I'll see you on Wednesday for that video. Okay, bye.